Are you getting tired of attending interviews? Do you have some fear in answering all the questions? Don't you remember some of the important key points while answering the questions? If you say yes, this video is for you. Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mass. In this video, I have come up with an important interview questions for Civil Engineering. These questions were asked by the topmost companies. So without delay, let's begin. First question is, what is the unit weight of the concrete? We have plain cement concrete and reinforced cement concrete. For plain cement concrete, it is 20 kN per meter cube, that is PCC. For reinforced cement concrete, it is 25 kN per meter cube, that is RCC. This unit weight of reinforced cement concrete we use whenever we calculate the self weight of the structural members. Next question is, what is the unit weight of steel? Reinforced steel that is 7850 kg per meter cube so you have to remember this unit weight always so this will be very helpful when you attend the interviews unit weight of steel is 7850 kg per meter cube interviewers metric cube and they want the answer in kilonewton per meter cube unit weight of steel in kilonewton per meter cube so that time you should not get confused so unit weight of steel in kilonewton per meter cube is 78.5 since the unit conversion is 1 kilonewton is equal to 100 kg. So, this you have to remember so that you can easily answer. Next question is what is the minimum curing period? First, why do we need to do the curing? Keeping the moisture content of the concrete. To keep the moisture content of the concrete, we need to do the curing. Always concrete would reach its design strength in 28 days. Minimum curing period corresponding to concrete attaining 70% of the compressive strength. So, till that we have to do the curing. As per Indian standard code, 7 days for ordinary portland cement 10 days when concrete with mineral admixture or blended cement is used and it shall not be less than 10 days concrete exposed to dry and hot weather condition similarly it shall not be less than 14 days concrete with mineral admixture or blended in dry on hot weather. What is the minimum grade of concrete used for RCC? This is very very important question. The minimum grade of concrete is M20. So below this we, we should not use for any RCC purpose. RCC is reinforced cement concrete. If we wanted to do any reinforced cement concrete construction work we have to at least use the minimum of M20 grade concrete. Here M stands for the mix and mix ratio for M20 concrete is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 and M20 is the nominal mix it is not the design mix compressive strength of M20 grade concrete is 20 Newton per millimeter square what is the purpose of constructing retaining wall? The main purpose of constructing the retaining wall is to resist the earth pressure and to prevent the soil erosion. Also, it stabilizes the soil and protects the building from overturning and slipping. This is how to find the weight of steel bar. This is very important question. Whenever we do any estimation, we need to find out the quantity of the material required, how much kgs or how much tons of steel is required for the construction of the building. So, for that, we need to find out the weight of the steel bar. So, the formula used to find out the weight of the steel bar is d squared by 162. So, this is for kg per meter length. So, by, by using this formula, if we multiply the formula with the running meter of the steel, then we get in kg. Let me show you an example. For example, consider 12 mm dia bar, 12 squared by 162, we get 0.889 kg. So, this is per meter length. For 10 meter length, consider the length of the bar is 10 meter so if we take the 10 meter length then we get 8.89 kg so this is how we have to calculate the weight of the steel bar similarly we have many uh, different dia bars like 8 mm 10 mm 16 mm 20 mm so whatever the diameter we have that we have to apply in this formula instead of d we have to apply the diameter of the bar next one is what is honeycomb in concrete this we call it as a void in concrete or air pocket present in the concrete this is formed due to improper compaction of concrete. If we do proper compaction while concreting, like if you use proper vibrator and if we compact the concrete properly, we can avoid this honeycomb in concrete. What is the initial and final setting time of cement mix? The time at which the cement start harden and completely loses its plasticity is 
called the initial setting time. So initial setting time is 30 minutes. Similarly, the time at which the cement completely loses its plasticity and became hard is a final setting time of cement that is 600 minutes or 10 hours. Next one is shuttering removal time or deshuttering. This can be also called as farm work. The rate of hardening of concrete or the concrete strength depends on temperature and affects the farm work removal time. So after concreting we have to remove the farm work. So that depends on the strength of concrete and temperature. Time required for removal of concrete in, in winter will be more than the time required during summer. Side walls, columns, vertical faces of beams it takes 24 hours to 48 hours. Slab if the props are left under then it takes 3 days. Beam soffits props left under that is 7 days. Beam soffit means bottom of the beam. So that takes 7 days. Next removal of props. For slab, slab spanning up to 4.5 meter it takes 7 days. Slab spanning over 4.5 meter then it takes 14 days. Removal of props for beams. Span up to 6 meter means it is 14 days. Span more than 6 meter means it is 21 days. Next why concrete cover is provided to the reinforcement. This can even also called as cover blocks. This is provided to protect the reinforcement against corrosion and also it provides resistance against fire. Next what is the volume of cement bag that is of 50 kg weight that is in meter cube 0.0347. So if we convert that into CFT 1 meter cube is equal to 35.28 CFT. This is the conversion factor. Always you have to remember these conversion factors then it becomes 1.23 CFT. So the volume of cement bag is 1.23 CFT. Next one is in the cantilever beam which is tension and compression zone. When the load is applied on the cantilever beam it behave like this. So in cantilever beam the top will be tension and bottom will be compression. Whereas in normal beams top will be compression bottom will be tension. Next what is bleeding in concrete? Due to bleeding concrete loses its homogeneity. The prime factor for bleeding in concrete is the high doses of water cement ratio. So water comes out to the surface of the concrete. It is a form of segregation. High water cement ratio weakens the concrete and leads to excessive bleeding. Next what is the slope of staircase? As per IS 456-2000 it is 25 to 40 degree. So the slope of the staircase we have to maintain as 25 to 40 degree. Next what is the standard size of brick? As per Indian standard it is 190 mm by 90 mm by 90 mm. This is without mortar. If we take 10 mm thickness mortar then it becomes 200 mm by 100 mm and 100 mm with 10 mm mortar. So this is the standard size of the brick as per Indian standard. Next what is the ratio of grade M5, M7.5, M10, M15, M20 and M25. For M5 it is 1 is to 5 is to 10. M7.5 it is 1 is to 4 is to 8. M10 is 1 is to 3 is to 6. M15 is 1 is to 2 is to 4. M20 is 1 is to 1 and a half is to 3. M25 is 1 is to 1 is to 2. These are all nominal mix not design mix. So above M25 concrete we need to do the design mix. Next, how do you measure the volume of concrete? The volume of concrete is calculated by multiplying its length, width and thickness together. For example, consider 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter cube. So then the volume of the concrete is 1 meter cube totally. For example, if you wanted to calculate volume of concrete for slab means length, breadth and depth. Depth is the thickness of the slab. So all these three things you need to multiply together to get the volume of the concrete. Similarly, you can calculate for all other structural members as well by using length, width and depth. What is the standard size of concrete cube? That is 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm. So this is the standard size of concrete cube. So whenever we do some cube test, concrete cube test, we have to use the standard size of 150 mm by 150 mm by 150. What are all the three different grades of cement? 33 grade, 43 grade and 53 grade. 33 grade cement is not used for concrete grade of above M20. So up to M20 grade concrete, we can use 33 grade cement. 43 grade cement is used for PCC and RCC up to M30 grade of concrete, flooring, plastering and masonry works. For that and all we can use 43 grade and 53 grade can be used above M30 grade of concrete. It is mainly used for high rise
raised building, industrial building, precast concrete and pre-stressed concrete. Next, what is steel corrosion? It is an electrochemical process. The steel bar get corroded due to chloride and carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere. So when the steel bar exposed to these chemicals, it get corroded and this corrosion, sometimes this corrosion may create severe damage to the structure. For steel bars to lose 1 mm dia due to corrosion, it takes 12.5 years. Sometimes it may reduce due to practical reasons. For 6 mm dia bar, for 6 mm dia bar to corrode completely, it takes 75 years. Next, what is the slump for concrete? As per Indian standard code, considering the workability, if it is low, the slump is 25 to 75 mm. If it is medium, slump is 50 to 100 mm or 75 to 100 mm. If it is high, the workability is high, then the slump is 100 to 150 mm. Next one is, what is the standard water cement ratio? As per IS 456 2000, standard water cement ratio lies between 0.4 to 0.55. Next one is, lap length shall be calculated on basis of which dia bar when ba bars of two different dia to be spliced. So this is also very important questions. When we lap two different dia bars, which dia bar should be considered while calculating the lap length? As per IS 456 2000, when bars of two different diameters are to be spliced, the lap length shall be calculated on basis of the diameter of the smaller bar. So this is the condition given in IS code. For example, consider this two different dia bars has to be spliced. So this is the lapping area. So this is different diameter and this is different diameter. This is 12 mm bar and this is 16 mm bar. So while calculating the lapping length, we need to use the smaller diameter of the bar. So in this case, we have to use 12 mm dia bar to calculate the lap length. Under what conditions are expansion joints to be provided? So we all have heard about this term expansion joint but where we need to provide under what condition we need to provide this expansion joint in building now is 456 it is clearly mentioned that normally structures exceeding 45 meter in length are designed with one or more expansion joint when the length of the building is more than 45 meter in that case we can use the expansion joint the last question what is the need of a shear key in retaining wall in retaining wall we all might have seen like this kind of projection at the base of the wall so this is called shear key so why do we need that shear key in retaining wall shear key is provided at the base of the retaining wall and it is provided to increase the sliding resistance of the retaining wall so i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you like this video and also don't forget to share it with your friends hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more videos if you want more video like this like kind of interview questions or mcq questions or any competitive exam questions please do comment in the comment box i'll try to upload the same thank you for watching